Cool arc warden. Okay, okay. And then noob is going to be the playing without that ward. It could actually be a huge deal. And I missed the first blood. All right, guys. You know they have to be a little bit more aggressive, maybe in this one. They even bring down the shadow demon, guys. I think we're about to watch our first kill. Oh my goodness! They're gonna try to go on miracle. He's turning on to Omar. They have a lot of stacks on him already, and with the flux, they're standing together. He's not gonna take the damage, so they get the kill on miracle. No death in return. Sumail trying to get in though. Doesn't have the stun just yet. They're actually gonna earth spike him as well. He wants to get on anybody here. He's actually has the AOE blade mail given to him by Kari. He does build up the stacks on Malik as well. Has a stun in four seconds. If Omar isn't careful, he could go down as well, but the bounce from the Bat Rider is enough. He's behind the tower. They're even running in. Has a jump again. Down onto this Shadow Demon. No more mana for any of his spells, if he had any. And a huge stun. Gets the kill. Sumail under the tower. Trying to jump. On. But Sumail, he's not done yet. Maybe he wants to get some more revenge. A nice, a nice branch just comes in. His Kori, he is going to banish up Sumail. It's only level one, but it looks like it could be enough, maybe. They get the kill on the Shadow Demon. Now trying to turn onto Noob. Sumail does doesn't have the sacks available. Noob will get the kill in the Monkey King, but now Miracle gets to pick up on some kills. He's gonna get hit up by the Spark Wraith. Do they have a stun? No! Try to run around Miracle. He'll throw out this, uh, the clone, but they have plenty of damage. The clone will be the only thing left now. They're probably gonna turn on it as well. They bring down Ghost. But maybe they can get the kill on the line. Yeah, big stun from Sumail. They need one more hit. They'll get it. Now turning back on to Kari, but Malik is trying to section them all off. Doesn't want the <laughs> Shadow Demon to go down, but the Bat Rider again. He's crazy farmed on RMN. This is not some, uh, you know, pause five basic Bat Rider. This guy has some net, and he's got two points in his E as well. Malik. They're gonna get found first. They actually can use the X maybe on the Shadow Demon, but he saves himself. Doesn't get hit by anything. Gets his ulti off as well. They maybe didn't expect that one on Nigma, but now Malak gonna get ripped through. They even buy back on the Shadow Demon. They'll first turn to Kuroki, but he's still alive actually, thanks to some of the protection on the Venge. Using the Solid Siren to maybe get out, but no, the Vigor of Death at the last second, able to get the kill. They can't find the Naga Siren, so he's gonna get away on the backside, but now they turn on Noob. Had a huge shield on him, but with the old silence, it's onto everybody. Maybe gonna turn this one around. Still a nice save from Kari after the buyback, but I think the Death Prophet still will fall here. Malik trying to steal some stats, but it's not enough. He'll go down as well. So they are smoked up. Know that the Aegis is gone. They get a nice stun onto two. Can they burst down this Kunkka again? He puts himself on the high ground as Malik, and it looks like Aramed does fall. Same with Ghost, but oh no, Ghost, he finally goes down, but not before he does get off the boat and the torrent. So uh, not the worst way to end it for him, but still, they end up getting three on Enigma Galaxy out of the picture. And Quest, again, a huge fight for them. All right, after the Aegis taking that one, showing that they are still strong on the map and a... They start to encroach. Not gonna be the first one to pop here. Oh, miracle. Oh no, he breaks the ward. They see him trying to pop the BKB. He's getting on out of here, but Noob, he's right on top of the Arc Warden. He battles himself back, popping the bubbles here. He'll use himself up to still do some damage. Malak on top of him as well, not doing a whole lot of damage. They will turn and kill the Death Prophet. The Water Park is out. They've effectively protected the Arc, and they'll even lasso up and kill the Shadow Demon with the supports away. They'll try to use the Son TP. Malak, he barely gets out. Same with the Naga Siren, but that does mean this is going to be Roshan taken for Nigma Galaxy. But Nigma, they're just right up on the high ground. Already taking one tower. No real defense, it looks like, so far. From PSG Quest, they'll toss around some shotguns, but Miracle has no fear with the Aegis in his hand. They will not be able to stop him. So one rack's gone. Uh, you got, I don't know, this was really easy. It felt like there was no pushback whatsoever. I mean, what's to stop them from going to mid as well? Wrap around, it looks like. But Armin, oh no, he's gonna lasso up this bat. No, wait, he just broke Samuel off the tree. They wanted to use the Wukong's command to try to kill the Timbersaw so bad. I mean, it's a good start, but unfortunately, make it the Venge killed. It looks like they do. Hex stuff's still on the line as well. Doesn't have enough to get off his spells quite yet. Malik will still fall, looks like. Needs a little bit more, and he will fall to RMN. But they're even, oh man, they really want to aggress on this, actually. Jump through, trying to stop. Looks like they will catch out. 
The Arc Warden, can they kill him? On the tree still is Sumail. He can throw out the Wukongs, he will, but they immediately evacuate. Still BKB on Miracle has a, another life to work with. Even if they do kill him the first time, that was the BKB of the Death Prophet. Now TA2000 trying to get onto Sumail. He doesn't have a BKB on his own, so they'll just turn back onto the Arc. Banish up the real one, trying to take out the clone first, but they have the all in power. They will kill Miracle and his clone. Another a pretty huge. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Almost got the kill, it looked like. Still will fall. But a wonderful fight. Again. Oh, ro, 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 ro. They found the real Kuroki. And yeah, you know what? If you are in their triangle, you are liable to be dead. That is, uh, that is how the Dota works sometimes. He does have buyback and he can TP into this one. They do immediately scan out. They know that they backed to Roshan. They don't have a word to place here. They're probably, yeah, they're on Kuroki right now. They'll TP back on the Kunkka, everybody else, dude. This could be a disastrous fight for Enigma if they're not careful. They don't have their support here. They don't have any vision loaded up. And Ghost, he's going to be the first one to get found out here. Hexed up, silence. They lose so much health right away. He gets the BKB up, though. He's allowed to cast his spells, the Torrent and the Boat. He gets it all up. Batrider on the backside. They had to kite this one away with the Son of the Siren because TA2000 he is already so, so low. A beautiful turnaround from Nigma. What looked like it should have been a short loss for them. Now it turns into maybe even a one fight. Trying to turn on Malak on the other side. No, they got on top of the Arc Warden. Noob, he's on him. Gets the force up away. Malak, he's able to carry the fight, maybe? No, I think that there's too much on this Arc Warden. They even have the Batrider to help him out. Silence up. He needs a little bit more damage. Noob, he falls, but they trade for the Arc. And now they get the kill. Oh, no. Nigma, it was a lost fight. It's like gigantic for their fight. But they're actually just going to push high ground with Miracle here. He's just clicking away. Using the bubble to get himself a tower, they'll root up the real, or not the real, the fake Arc Warden. And now he's using the real one to bubble up once more. Has a swap save in case they need it, but they may just take this. Ah, this is kind of insane to use the lasso. They'll take down Kari. It does have the buyback. He'll use it because they're going to jump in on Malak. They're on top of the real Arc Warden, but he gets the swap away. And TA2000 trying to track in two goes, but he gets the water park off and the boat. They're not able to get on top of him. And now this Timber saw He's in too deep. And he can't keep his head above the water. He'll go down. T2000 uses his song. They want to get a nice setup or something here. But you know this is what they want. You know they want the Arc Warden. The sun is too early. But they still have the Hex. They'll take him down. Now turning onto the Kafka. He's losing all of his mana. They'll get another with a double buyback. Maybe they can turn this fight around. Try to get RMN in the trees. And that's where Timber saw. He'll rip you through. Four go down. And Quest, another... Quest with a 14,000 net worth lead. I mean, they're feeling it, but can they continue on the high ground assault? They may want to force out a buyback from the Arc Warden. A nice stun after the Hex. Still turning on Kanka. He's got the X if he wants, but he's not able to... He's not able to get anybody just yet. He will find Malika. It looks like take him back. Use the boat. This is what they're focusing on on the backside, but on the front, Sumail in his own Wukong's got to be careful. It looks like they'll still turn, kill Timber, and the rest of the team, who can they find on quest? They need to evacuate from this one. It was three buybacks, including the buyback on the Arc Warden. Miracle. Somebody's going to go up here. They're trying to catch out this Arc Warden while the rest of the team isn't here. Swap away, plus the BKB. Now they're turning on the Nanaga. Has the Lotus Orb, but she just falls. She went too, too close. The rest of the team did not follow her into battle. She falls, and now she'll have to buy back, or else they may lose Megas here. Miracle, he's just taking out the racks. They're not stopping him. This is just an illusion. He's not really at risk at anything for this one. Jumping through with the lasso, but he gets Yules up immediately on RMN, trying to take this Naga Siren away. They'll use the Wukong's command. Maybe using this to try to secure themselves. The Megas here using the sun, but he's able to get away with the BKB on TA2000. Using the Son of the Siren as well. There's no more creeps. Backboard protection is up. They might not actually be able to take down this Aegis. They, or this Rax. They only want the Megas, but it's not enough. They'll rip through first. They take down the Arc Warden. Now they're turning on to some mail. He's hexed up. He can't get anything off. He wants to build up the sides to get the Life Seal, but he just ends up killing actually on the back. Backside, the rest of the team for quest. They'll turn onto the monkey again after the vanish is out. He's silenced up. They'll try to save him with the Kunkka, but Sumail, he falls as well. They had the damage to take down enough. No, TA2000, he just needs to survive, but he can't defend the damage. It's too much. They get the kill again. The Rax is still available. Noob, he's holding the ground by himself. 
Or can they turn on this one? I don't know if they have the damage to kill this Death Prophet once more without the Monkey Cannon just yet. He's about to come on in. Lotus Orb it goes away. They'll take back the Shadow Demon. Enigma, have they found the opening they need? They need Mount to come in here. They have a plenty of damage now with the Timber Saw. There's not a lot of BKCBs left on this one. And Noob getting the uh, sucks off. He'll have enough for now, but he needs to heal up even more. Sumail on top of him with the Scotty. The regen, it's not enough. They'll lose one, and it's only the Timber now. I don't think that it's enough for him. He pops the BKB can't kill RMN. The swap will be enough to give him the barrier. Enigma. This could be the last kill that they need. They'll all in on the timber saw. The chakrams are flying. At the end of the day, they call it GG. Game number one. Hard fought victory for Enigma. They were down in the odds. They were down after the third Roshan, but it didn't matter. They held on through and they grabbed themselves a game one victory here.